New York Jets rookie wide receiver Garrett Wilson had a clutch record-setting day for a New York Jets rookie wide receiver, and Jets fans are ecstatic as they should be. Number 10 overall pick, in my opinion, best wide receiver coming out of this last year's draft class. However, um, if you told me I had to pick just one Jets wide receiver who is going to be a superstar in this league, I might have to say number eight, Elijah Moore, because I have a bigger sample size. Elijah Moore was cooking corners all last year. And I would argue that Elijah Moore's best game last season was more impressive than what Garrett Wilson did against the Cleveland Browns. Last year, Elijah Moore in a game also quarterbacked by Joe Flacco against the Miami Dolphins. In a home loss, Elijah Moore had eight catches for 141 yards, a touchdown, and caught 73% of the balls thrown his way. And in that game, he was going up against Xavier Howard, an all-pro corner. Defense focused to stop him. They could do nothing with him. And Elijah Moore, it wasn't just a one-hit wonder. Obviously, there was a five-game stretch before he got hurt where defense couldn't do anything with this guy. And if you average out his yards per snap during that stretch, it is the exact same number of yards per snap that Devontae Adams had last year. He was one of the top five to 10 most productive wide receivers in the NFL for that stretch. And there's no reason for me to believe that he wouldn't have continued on that toward pace if he stayed healthy. Now, why the slow start this year? Well, number one, I don't know if it's a slow start because if you watch the film, he's open all the time. Joe Flacco was just favoring Garrett Wilson in that game, and that's fine. But also defenses have been rolling coverages his way. The Cleveland Browns, that they told you who they were more worried about. Denzel Ward following Elijah Moore around and rolling a safety that way, basically begging Garrett Wilson and Corey Davis to beat them, which they did. So at the end of the day, this is a really good problem to have for the Jets. I think we have two number one wide receivers on this team. And if NFL teams want to now start uh, rolling their coverage, giving up to start Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore is going to make them pay big time pretty soon.